I just gonna wait, Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. For our Good night message on this Saturday, the 23rd of December 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University in Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging and strengthening message in the series, The Season of Waiting, entitled Embracing Preparation. From the crown of his head, the Bible told me, hallelujah, it doesn't matter how long it takes, Job said I will surely wait, teach me Lord, teach me Lord, how to wait. We are near to the birth of Christ, just two days from now, we'll be celebrating Christmas. Isaiah 40 to 66, chapters which emphasize the prophet's message of hope triumphing over judgment, begin with an exhortation to comfort Jerusalem. That is exactly what we listened to on the second Sunday of Advent, on the 10th of December, the words of comfort, comfort to Jerusalem. This is then followed by an unidentified voice crying out for God's way to be prepared and his highway to be straightened. The image of a highway is frequently used in Isaiah to express the idea of humanity being given access to God. See Isaiah chapter 11 verse 16, Isaiah chapter 35 verse 8, and Isaiah chapter 62 verse 10. In Isaiah chapter 40 verse 3, the focus is on the need for the people to prepare themselves for access into his holy presence. With the birth of Christ, a highway between God and humanity was built and access to God was made possible. John chapter 1 verse 14 to 18. But people needed preparation in order to be able to recognize and accept him as this highway. For this reason, John the Baptist was sent ahead. And we hear in today's word about the birth of John the Baptist that we read in Luke chapter 1 verse 57 to 66 in today's devotion. The gospel writers all cite Isaiah chapter 40 verse 3 and identify John as the voice from this passage. John, a wild man in the Judean desert, preached repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Mark chapter 1 verse 4. This repentance of turning away from sin and self-effort was the preparation needed by Jesus' generation in order to recognize and accept him as the way to God. John 14 verse 6 During Advent, we have been embracing the need to prepare ourselves for Jesus by repenting of sin and our attempts to gain access to God on our own terms. I would like, if you have a chance, to take an opportunity tomorrow if you are a Catholic, to go for confession. And if you are not Catholic, to find a moment to renew your own faith and confess your sins to God because that is the only way you can claim to prepare yourself for Christmas. It is not about the food that you are to eat. It is not about the clothes that you are to wear. No, it is about 
the cleanness of your heart, the readiness of your soul. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. How do we